your energy in gridlock? Well, get out of it. Hey, it's Brian Light back with a review you can use, and here's a first for this channel, I do believe, and that is energy drink review. Now, quite often when I drink these, uh, I, I like the Monster iced tea flavors, although I drink those cold and you try to get them as cold as possible. But um, not too long ago, from time to time, when I, when I needed something in the morning and I wasn't meant to make it to the gym, and I don't drink coffee, but I guess I've become more of a caffeine addict again. Uh, I picked up various energy drinks, uh, usually with very limited to low sugar. The Monster drinks, I hit six grams of sugar in the entire can. It takes me like three hours to drink it in the afternoon when I do have them. Uh, and I'm trying to make it, you know, not so often, but, you know, sometimes buy a case at, at Sam's. But it takes me a long time because at most I drink one of those. Every once in a while I'll drink two, like say on a weekend, and man, I feel horrible. Uh, and not like one after another. Uh, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. So this is... Uh, no certified uh, synthetic, uh, so no certified, uh, no cert, pfft. yeah, so I'm guessing there's no, it's certified that there are no synthetic colors, but they say no, but I'm just guessing. Um, this has taurine, L-carnitine, ginseng, and that's part of what got my attention was the ginseng, and I'm like, I gotta try this, uh, vitamin B. Um, so this has seven grams of sugar in the entire can, that's uh, all added, no protein, of course, uh, now this is carbonated, and normally I drink these at room temperature. So like C4 I've had, there's, uh, when I was in Chicago, there was a thing called Rain, which was pretty good, and that's what kind of got me. And then down here they have it, they don't have Rain, they have, um, here in Cincinnati, I forget the name of it now, it's not Jolt, it's like Bolt or something. But, um, that's, oh, I can smell the ginseng. But I tend to drink, whoa, I was not expecting a bright yellow uh, flavor. So, wow. Almost looks like it's. Um, that's very interesting. Of course, it's carbonated. Now, mainly because of the carbonation, I wouldn't have one of these as a pre-workout because you, I can't drown them that quickly. Wow, you can really taste the ginseng. That's got a very interesting flavor. So there we go. Very yellow. Okay. Well, that's kind of, um, wow, that's only, wow. It's tart and sweet at the same time, probably because it's cold. Um, I'm guessing that they're going to use sucralose or something. Yeah, there's sucralose in there. And they will get nice and all that ginseng root extract, caramel coloring. So it, it has a flavor from when I can remember. I, I, years ago, I had a, a, a Red Bull. Years ago. And this is kind of what I remember that tasting like, except those are tiny, tiny little cans. But I don't know how much caffeine they have, and I don't even know how much is in this thing. But, um, wow, this is something I would, I, I wish I had it warm. I put it in the refrigerator, and I didn't mean to, but, now this is Batavia, Illinois again? Well, that's where Aldi's is. Is this from Aldi's? Summit, low-cal, gridlock, internet. I thought my wife got these at Sam's, but I'm not so sure now. Because I just did some other stuff from Aldi's. And it said, um, oh, it is Aldi. Distributed by Aldi, Batavia, Illinois. Caffeine, 140 milligrams. And in the entire container, that's, that's pretty low. I mean, some of these I've seen as high as 300 or more. Milligrams, so that's a lot lower than I was expecting. That's good. But that is just kind of a, it has a nice ginseng aroma, but there's this this sickening sweetness that I get, mostly probably from the sucralose and a little bit of the sugar. It just lingers on my teeth, and it just kind of ugh, gets around. So when I finish this later on, because obviously I've opened it, I'm going to have to finish it, I'm probably going to put this over ice to help dilute it a bit, because it's I can't drink it straight. Oh, man, it's just too sickening sweet. But it does remind me of what I remember Red Bull tasting like, however long ago that was. And I don't like Red Bull at all. The only time I've ever enjoyed Red Bull was when it was mixed with Jaeger Bomb uh, Meister. I know, Jaeger Bomb. I think a can of Red Bull, shot of Jaeger. Actually, not bad. Of course, I was quite wasted by the time I got to that. Oh, but man. It's sweet and tart at the same time, and, man, it just lingers on my teeth and tongue. So, um... 
you know, considering that I've had some other energy drinks that <clears throat> are low sugar and taste better, this is like a six and a half to me. I hate to say it. I'm not a fan of it. <clears throat> it's kind of, and it's affecting me already. <clears throat> it's kind of a disappointment. I'm, I'm disappointed, I guess. I was expecting a little bit better. But, you know, for only seven grams of sugar, and if you're really into Red Bull and you don't, this is a low cal one, you don't want to drink something that, you know, you want some sugar but not a lot, this might be right up your alley. I have no idea how much it costs, but, you know, you can get them at Aldi. Try it, see what you think. The carbonation's also getting to me. So, yeah, I don't have this problem with beer reviews, and they're carbonated, or, or sometimes that's nitrogen injection, but, man, six and a half out of ten, I'm sorry. So, have you had this? You like it? You think it's a 12 out of 10? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for sharing, and we will see you. Goodbye. Oh, it's just a G. <laughs> Not everything's an app.